so multi-gen uh, can also be called multi-aged. Um, sometimes that's a little bit confusing for some people, uh, and that's generational, but just multi-age. It's basically grouping kids based on their ability level, not their, not their set age level or set grade level. We want to we meet kids where they're at, um, especially in certain levels. We don't want to put a cap on our kids, so we want to give them an absolute ceiling. We don't want there to be a ceiling, so if they can progress and work through things, why hold them back? The, the scope and sequence kind of aligned a little bit better for us that way. The, the curriculum, the, the common core standards, it aligned better for us to align them as a 2-3 pod and a 4-5 pod. Also, there are slight things we needed to consider with multi-gen or multi-age is the fact sometimes it's developmental. You know, you have a first, a fifth grader working with a second grader, might not always be the best fit, just developmental. Fifth graders' minds are at different locations than second graders' minds are. No one wants to be a fifth grader working at a third grade level. However, we've kind of spun it to where, okay, this is where you're at, but this is not where you're going to finish. This is where we're going to give you access to, to material here. We're still going to give you access to fifth grade material, but we want to work, make sure you get these skills as a third grader really sound, and then we can progress you towards fifth grade skills.